attention please. This is the agenda of the regular monthly meeting of the City Commission of Riverbend City. It's Wednesday, September 20th, 2014. At the record show that's 12 uh, in the afternoon, 12 noon on the dot. We're at Commission Chambers 101 South Washington. It's a beautiful downtown River Grandy. Call this meeting in order. I will give you a short invocation. Now as Commissioner uh, Ramirez Olivas and I pledge you all please rise. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Ramirez. I ask that you please go to this agenda under general and you will see letter B under general and that roll call and finding a quorum for that. We have Ms. Holly, please. Thank you. Mayor Bionian. Here. Mayor Potem Gasta. Here. Commissioner Salinas. Here. Commissioner Ramirez. Here. Commissioner Jones. Here. You have the quorum. Very good. Letter C under general in the public forum section. This is a section where the community can come and give comments on a particular item on this agenda. They have three minutes to do so, and we ask that they please withhold within the three minutes so we can keep on conducting our meeting. Uh, Ms. Holly will be the timekeeper. I uh, don't know that we have people under public forum, Ms. Holly. I saw some forms being filled out. Did you? I thought you filled out there. There is a requirement that a form has to be filled in for our records and for a minute. So. <coughs> Valley has something similar to this. 
I don't know how they operate theirs, but it's something similar. The, the college transportation is actually a coalition of Valley okay. Transit and, and, and ourselves. Um, I would mention to you that there's also another program for employment related uh, transportation. If you are, we have a lot, in Roma, we have a lot of providers that don't drive and they pay half the fare. They pay a dollar fifty to go to the clients that they're supposed to take care of. So uh, I asked the mayor one time that if, uh, how come the city didn't take more advantage of it? And he said, well, I really don't know very much about it. Well, anything you want to know, you can call me. The phone numbers are there. Community Action has been in this community 48 years. We have suffered some losses. We are struggling, but we're there. And we also have the Home Delivered Means Program. Uh, we have uh, the low income housing. Uh, and there's quite a, we, we have a lot of projects. But right now, the important project is a transportation project because the college students really need the transportation. I want to uh, ask the players to, I know that it's here, to get in touch with you with these numbers to get some information so she can start putting it in our social media. She does Twitter, she does Instagram, she does Facebook, and I think it's wonderful information, and I'm glad that we have it in this capacity. Well, thank you very much, sir. I also wanted to express my appreciation to you, Mr. Mayor, to the City Council, for having brought Matt Luziak to the city. He's been a great asset. By the way, that, that injury was not uh, as a result of our kitchen. That was his kitchen. But, uh, he has done a great job. Uh, we, we're really happy with him. I think he has learned as much from us as we have learned from him. And I think you, you made a great decision, and I want to thank you all very much for that. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ms. Holly, do you have anybody else for the forum? Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, last call for the forum. With no public forum, we move to consent agenda. Under this, we have two items that are A and B. One's the approval of cardinal travel request, the other one's the, part of the uh, excuse me, approval of minutes from previous meetings. We can take them together if you so choose commission. Um, I will take a motion to any effect, take them individually or take them as A and B. Here, look over the information just a bit. Also, that this is uh, a budget and 
tax rate has stayed exactly the same as it was previously. We're at sorry for two years. We're at 51 cents per hundred dollar valuation, and I have matched that up against Valley Cities from a line of probably Corpus Christi down south, and there's nobody even per capita comes close to us. Uh, most communities have anywhere between a 60 to 70 and an 80 cent uh, per 100 property rate, and ours is the most affordable. I think Roma is, is, is the same as us, but they're smaller than we are, but very proud to say that we've been, been able to keep the tax rate very, very much in check and provided uh, a wealth of, of new resources and services to the community. Uh, so if any of the commissioners have any comment or if have a comment on the proposed budget for fiscal year 14, 15, 20, 14, 15. I do want to thank all the employees and all the department heads because it's like, you really need this PO. And you wait. And they have been patient and they have been uh, uh, very, very able to, to saving as much as we can is to provide the services. I think, uh, and we'll see in a little while in a little bit, also we'll hear it again, but our services will be at two point what million? Two point eight. Two point eight million dollars. In my knowledge, I don't think we've ever seen that type of surplus. I think the highest time we had it right before our, our expenses on our uh, big projects that we had. I think we were at maybe one point four. I'm thinking about one point four. So this is a substantial difference. Sorry. And also, you know, you said you've done much of upgrades in infrastructure, oh, yeah. technology, yes, yes. equipment. We've done a lot of outlay. I mean, uh, public works has been trucks. Uh, we've been in these streets. I don't want to go through it again because we've gone through it before. We have a Wi-Fi project in our downtown. The DDC has been uh, wonderful in assisting us with. So it's we're in very, very financial, very good financial standing. And I know right now budgets, you know, here in the county and other places are struggling. And fortunately for us, we're not struggling. We're in very good condition. So it gives me a great pleasure to accept this budget and, and, and in the motions that come. But does anybody else have any comment on this? If we have no more comment, Ms. Holly, let the record show that it is 12.13 in the afternoon and we're closing or ending the public hearing section of this meeting. So please let the record show that at 12.13 we are closing the public hearing section of this meeting. Uh, as we continue, item number four under ordinance is, is A, is first reading and approval of ordinance number 2014-10, adopting the general special, excuse me, an enterprise fund budget for fiscal year 2014 and 2015. There's been some information, please, on the side. Uh, in your packet, you have, uh, and you also received in your email the budget, and you also have uh, in the ordinance to adopt this uh, this budget. Like you mentioned a while ago, Mayor, the, the budget leaves us uh, with a substantial uh, savings. Uh, it is within its balanced budget. We have been able to address all needs for the city with the amount of revenue that we'll be putting in. And uh, I couldn't be happier to, to submit this budget to you all. Very good. Uh, first reading of approval of ordinance number 2014 adopting general special and enterprise fund budgets for fiscal year 2014-2015. Do I have any motion on this item? I move more that we approve ordinance number 2014-10. I have a motion by Mayor Pro Tem Goss on this item. Do I have a second? Also a motion. Second by Commissioner Ramirez. Anybody else have any comment on this? No further comment. I'll go to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Letter B reads, first reading and approval of ordinance number 2014-11, establishing an ad valorem and levy a maintenance and operation tax rate and an interest and sinking tax rate for the tax year ending 2014. Ms. Bayos, can you give us some information on the ad valorem tax and levy maintenance operation tax rules? Uh, that back, we have discussed based on the information we received from the appraisal uh, district uh, as to the evaluations that were to be collected for the year. And based on that, uh, our tax rate would basically be, be the same 0.514749.
Whereas when we see Congress. I think the other is 175 and for storage. Storage is 20. Yes. Yes, except for the first four hours. It's the first reading again, so we want modifications. We can't do it after the second reading. I just need. What, what record are first are going to be allowed to register the city to provide services? At the. Uh, about everybody in general? Or county wide? Or about the city? The city can register in the, the council that can limit the, the amount of records. Uh, right now we have 12, and some have more than one. This would simplify the process of everybody having just one per yard. And at that same point, they would uh, they, they can change our records. They just have to register the record, uh, the record services for the police department. So uh, they can have whichever record they want. But they have to change it based on the ordinance. It would simplify our process of having only a certain number of records versus having two for one, you know, three for one company. And uh, they, would have, they would have the same business. The location would be the same. Richard in the county, and the lot would be in the county. Quick question about the rotation. Who determines that, and how would you guys go about to call the records, whatever records are <coughs> up next uh, for service? The, the rotations, we have a list that's set as a rotation list, and uh, we go by the first one. Uh, then the, the following record is next. If the uh, first record, for whatever reason, is canceled or uh, they can't make it because they didn't actually get out of town, it goes to the next record. If uh, we do cancel, we put them on, uh, they, they were next on the Again, they don't get uh, shifted down to the bottom of the list. So we keep track of, we keep, uh, track of the uh, rotation of the colonies. Of the Most of the people we have had. It's at the dispatching office, and it's a lot, and there's also a lot on those to their house versus uh, you know the record yard they can do that uh, it, it just uh, the law doesn't allow us to keep the, the traffic uh, you know an 83 stop for a certain amount of time if it's a certain amount of damage if it's a minor uh, it'll happen right away but we're talking about just duty traffic uh, what about uh, there's a special forces or hide or, or uh, they, they uh what do they use or they, they have their own uh, rotation that's just what they call uh, so in, uh, I, I guess they have their a certain number of records that they utilize it's not the same as what we use um, at the beach. I had to combine force of all of the town. Yeah, that's why I asked them to use some of our own officers. Right, right. Sure. it's just PD and uh, what we do at the police. Yeah. Anybody have any more comments? And I'll, I'll entertain a motion if your commission is still to so I have a motion by Mayor Pro Tem Gatha. Second? I'll second motion. Second by Commissioner uh, Ramirez and Zayda. Again, it's the first meeting. Any more discussion? Discussion. I'll go to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The record shows that it was unanimous vote, Ms. Colleen, on that item. Letter E. Read. Second reading adoption of ordinance number 20, 2014-9, bestowing the honorary name of Veterans Memorial Drive to a portion of FM 3167. Ms. Bayas, tell us about Veterans Memorial Drive. Veterans Memorial Drive would be the section of Eisenhower between Highway 83 and Eisenhower. Um, this is the second reading. Ms. Ramos, uh, Ms. Aguilar Ramos presented this idea, which the council wholeheartedly you know, uh, approved, and are, we are moving forward with this. Uh, sign has been ordered uh, within the, the dimensions that are allowed by Textile, and uh, we're looking at a site where the flagpole and the commemoration flagpole. Uh, I do want to commend the staff because staff worked on this in a very expedient fashion. I think you came to us, Ms. Ramos, maybe six weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, six weeks ago, maybe ten weeks ago, and uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Turn kind of around to get all the all the ducks in a row because we're dealing with the state, it's not just the city. We're dealing with the state. Mm -hmm. It's an FM. It's a state highway. So I know that Ms. Vejas did a great job in talking, coordinating with uh, the people at TechStock to make sure that we do everything appropriately according to their specs. I, I, like I said, I'm very very happy that this is happening. It's a great name for that area, for that street, excuse me, for that that thoroughfare. And we have, we're going to cut in conjunction to some parks and that type of, of uh, circumstance where we honor our veterans and we honor our, our enlisted men and women that have served in the past. So I'm very, very excited about the new name and we have to embrace it as quickly as possible. Uh, does anybody have any comments, questions on this? Ms. Ramos, I want to recognize you for a minute. Do you have any, any comments to add? Uh, we're, we're moving along. 
<laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm a fixture here at the City Hall. Um, but it's, uh, I'm doing the research for the uh, plaques, for the plaque. It's uh, kind of tedious to, I join every uh, archives uh, to try and get information on some of these men. Uh, but it, today was like a very fruitful day. Today we were able to do a lot with one of the, the veterans. Uh, we, we, we would like for it to be a Saturday event so that more people can come, uh, families uh, of the veterans. The, the one from uh, New Mexico is planning to come. I think he's in Colorado. He's planning to come. We have one that's still alive. Uh, we're going to make it a, a party. Several days. <laughs> on, on Sunday, the Immaculate Conception is going to have a special mass for veterans. And then, uh, of course, on Monday, we're leaving it for the schools. Uh, they always have uh, veterans programs and kind of trying to get everybody into the... Uh, and then, of course, on Tuesday is going to be the, uh, the Veterans Day at the cemetery, and we want to make that also. Rick Diaz is coming, so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a good program. On uh, behalf of my cousin, the commission would like to thank you for your efforts in bringing this to uh, uh, And I, he says he just does all the work. He does the legwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you. It's a great idea to be brought to the commission. Uh, I like to do I don't know if I ever told you, my, my father was a World War II veteran. He lost the leg uh, in Italy. So it's kind of like a, a family thing. We need to thank Sam also. Thank you. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. Very good. I'd like to make the motion for the second reading and that we adopt the ordinance number 2014 9, bestowing the honorary name Veteran Memorial Drive to a portion of SM 3167. Very good. I have a motion by Mayor of God. I have another second. Second by <coughs> any more discussion. No discussion. We will vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. That does the regular agenda correct this moment. Yes. Before we go into the second session, I want to give Ms. Bess an opportunity to introduce some new staff that we have in the Ms. Bess. Uh, yes, uh, Mayor Commissioners, uh, our parks and rec director.
be patient because there are lots of kids that are out there in every school district. So, uh, for that sort of mayor, for the many news you want to bring? Just on the same uh, issue, Mayor, the, the traffic, I want to thank the, the public for being very cooperative with us and traffic control. I know the traffic shifted from the uh, west side to the northeast side, but uh, people are being very cooperative and things are working out very well. I want to say, you know something, and, and I know that we have DPS here. But I've noticed, and it's always been that typically uh, people and traffic has been very patient around school zones and, uh, and the no cell phone people are very aware of that. So I do want to thank the community because they've done uh, a really great job of trying to help us keep the kids safe because it's a very challenging task. Anything else? Uh, Commissioner Jones. Uh, other than you know, continuing to thank the staff for the excellent work that uh, you all continue on making us look good up here. Uh, this is my second year with the uh, budget and uh, you know, with the taxes that are going up and everything I'm real, I can say, yeah, for myself, you know, I'm real proud of being part of this committee. I just need a quick comments. I want to thank staff for a tremendous budget year. Uh, 2.8 million, 2.8 million in surplus has never happened. I am very, very proud and pleased with all the efforts of the commissioners and the staff to try to be as careful with money as possible and it's really paid off. I'm very grateful to everybody. Uh, I do want to also mention that the TAC for the 51 cents, we, where we do our due diligence to make sure that we are careful with our expenditures. Uh, I want to thank my men, but I've been working with some historical people that have been coming through here. They're Texas Historical Commission and I think the other is, uh, is it the National Historic Heritage or something like that? Or is it no, the, the Texas Historical Commission is working with us to establish or help us develop uh, heritage-based tourism, and so we're, you know, running ideas back and forth and inviting uh, members of the community to actively participate in helping us develop this tourism. Very passionate people. It's been a, a great experience. Uh, I want to remind everybody that the uh, library is under construction. So if you see movement over there, Norma, after seven years, I think the library is ten years. Anyway, after 10 years, the library has finally seen a little bit of a makeover. And uh, one of those great things, we were just the day with grandparents day, the last time we, we, caught, we caught there. So she's trying to fix up because she's hosting in November a state, uh, a group of state people that are coming. Libraries. Libraries library across the state. state. And they're going to be here in Rivania City, so she's very excited. So she's boosting up her uh, library and it's going to be looking really good. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I do. Yes. Well, tomorrow is the 9 11 Remembrance Ceremony at SCC at 9 30 in the morning at the flagpole. 9 30? Yes. And then the Cactus Country Festival is going to be uh, on the 27th at the South. If anybody has any information that they want to get out about school, about uh, parks, about anything, please contact Madeline. She is the go to person. Social media is doing a wonderful job on Twitter and Facebook. and it's Instagram, and she's active even off hours because I see your movement off hours also. So she puts the work. If anybody has any comments or anything you need out there, please go to her. Uh, with that, does anybody else have any comments? I just want to very excited about our budget and I want to uh, congratulate the staff one last time. With that, I will take a motion to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Ramirez. I have a second. Second by Commissioner Jones. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Ms. Holly, let the record show that it is. 1254 in the afternoon of this weekend.